Yeah, g'day again. Welcome to part two. So I'm a little bit more organised now. I've got water in the tub. I've used the classifier. Here's my material. Uh, a full bucket went down to basically a third after getting rid of the bigger stuff and some of the larger rocks uh, and even some of the gravels that just weren't applicable for this situation. Uh, we use a little lithium battery to run. The last time I was here, it had 14 volts on. They charge up way past an AGM, which is 12.7, and drops back down to 12.7, even if it goes beyond that. These guys tend to hold their charge a little bit better. And I think last time I was here, it was at about 13.7. And I ran, oh, I ran it for half an hour, maybe longer, uh, with about... I don't know, six to eight buckets, and when I checked it later, uh, when I got home later that um, that weekend, uh, it, it was only on 13, so these guys will go down to, I think it's 10.2, and the battery, battery management system will cut them off, so I had lots more goes using this, um, if that's uh, what I wanted to do, but I, by then I'd got my gold and I'd had my fun, so I was happy to go home. So let's just, uh, and I'm gonna classify this by hand. I'm not gonna do the whole bucket. That'll be boring to watch, so this will be three parts. But I'll turn this guy on, as you can hear. Sorry, we're a little bit off. So there's your flow. So it's a happening thing. Uh, it's reasonably level from, uh, from what I did and uh, what I'll do is yeah it does leak a little bit this guy um it's just a Constantina pipe that I for a change I actually bought it instead of finding it and uh although I gaffer taped around the edge uh we do leak a bit that's cool we pick it up we pour it back in we just keep our way on it and uh I think for this material it's a bit oh <laughs> I guess they just fell off their seat. Uh, I think for this uh, material, I'll uh, I'll do it by hand, and I'll, I'll just do a couple just to give you an idea. So here we go. I'll run it down. Uh, I don't mind it with the fingers. It uh, it helps you kind of spread it a little bit more evenly. And as you can see, it's not a bad flow. It's a little bit to one side, but I'm not going to lose sleep over that. Uh, it is what it is. Now these, just to show you here, let's find an obstruction. Hopefully, oh yeah. And the wing nuts also can can, can can contribute to changing things. So we've got a rock there, and uh, let's see if I can't move him with by changing the pegs. Oh, it's close. Come on, you bugger. There's movement, but we haven't quite moved him on. That's, that's the purpose of these little pegs. Sometimes if you've got a big build up of gravel in the centre bit here, you can just move the pegs and it'll move them on. So anyway, let's do a little bit more. Yeah, maybe I'll stop. When, when I stop doing this, I'll actually, um, I might level up, level it up just a little bit more. And the thing is with this pay dirt, I found, found some bedrock on, on one side, I did get a decent amount of gold and it, it, it was kind of like a split up the middle so on the north side I, I panned it and processed it and was really happy with the result and then on the other side I thought oh maybe some of the gold has run off there and that's what this bucket is and at the very end of it all I did a pan and got four flakes and perhaps I should have done the pan first but you know uh, Let's live a bit dangerous and just see what happens. So, I'm going to, I can't see any gold as yet, I think I can see one flake. So, uh, I'm going to stop this in a second, I'm going to run through it, and then we'll, um, geez, put me out of peace then, but uh, it's just a little bit of pebble. And, I, yeah, I'll stop this and then I'll turn it back on for what will be the uh, clean-up. And this little guy's filling up, give the hands a bit of a wash pour it back in it's all good so let's come around here take it off and I can see one bit of gold there that's a definite uh, possibly another one there oh look I've got no idea if you're picking this up so I'm not going to bore you to tears with it all 
maybe another one there. I think there's there's one there. So there's a couple of little bits of gold. Uh, the flakes I were getting out of the other side, they were bigger actually, so this will be interesting. And last time I used this, uh, with, with uh, what was six buckets I think, I did, after I did the clean out of the little bucket and all the gravels that were in here, uh, which I had to do a couple of times, I did check and uh, it was only one instance that I found a uh, flake of gold that the VMAT didn't catch. So, you know, for dirt cheap from Bunnings, this thing is a ripper and uh, you can make a couple of sluices because it's a decent sized tile. So anyway, uh, I'll see you on uh, part three, which will be the cleanup. Cheers.